Hey, hey, everybody. So this is it, the thing you've been waiting for all year long. It is my 12 Gifts for Potters 2019. Every year I do a countdown of my favorite things from the past year that I have been using. Some are new, some are old favorites. All of them are fabulous. And the best part is at the very end, I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing it to you. So you might need earplugs, but I will admit I'm not the world's best singer, but I will sing with joy and enthusiasm. And you know what they say, if you can't sing well, sing loud. I'll sing very loud. So we will be all set. So I have these 12 things that I've created a list of, and they're things I've been using this whole year and possibly been using more than just this year, because this is our third annual 12 Gifts for Potters. So that's what we're up to now, we're up to three. And I, I've got my festive Santa hat going on. And in honor of the holidays, I'm wearing my cute little snowman pin and Christmas tree earrings that Jen Candris made for me. And there she is, she's here. Hi Jen, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the earrings you made me and my little snowman pin on my hat. So I hope you're all in the, in the spirit of the season. I know tomorrow's Thanksgiving and we all have family coming in or we're traveling. I wish you safe travels and I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I know I'm planning to stay put here in Vermont with my family. It's gonna be a really low key Thanksgiving. Gonna get up, watch the parade, eat a bunch of food and just be thankful for all that I have and thankful I get to spend my day with my family. So hi everybody tuning in. I don't wanna really take too much time, I wanna get right to it because we have got 12 things we're gonna talk about. Maggie says this is her third year seeing it. I know, and I bet my singing is better. No, it's probably not. <laughs> but it'll be as good as any other year, I promise. So um, other things going on in Clay Share World, if you haven't been checking it out, we had a new class go up this week that is using underglazes on wheel thrown forms. So I show you how to throw this vase. This is about four and a half pounds of clay. So I show you how to throw this vase and then how to apply the underglazes and how to add the volume. So that is the new class that's up this week. So we got that going on. Of course, we have the giveaway for this month, month, which is a six pack of Clayscapes Pottery Glazes and more on that. And if you aren't signed up on our email list, do that so you can be entered. If you're a premium member, you don't have to do anything. You're automatically signed up. So that's all I think I've got. Um, we have some other things going on in Clayshare. So just check it out, clayshare.com or tv.clayshare.com and uh let's get to it without further ado here are my 12 gifts for potters so um number one is probably the newest piece of equipment i have gotten for the studio but i think well we'll say number 12 because i'm going to count down to number one you know that so i would say this i have a helper i have a helper in the studio hand me this item Number 12 is an EnviroCleanse mobile air system. So I just did a review on this unit and, and you can see it's obviously not so big and heavy because I'm holding this right here and we're gonna scooch this up a little bit so that I, there we go. So I just did a review on this, it's up on Clayshare. It's also up on my YouTube channel and you can check that out. But I did not have an air cleaner in my system until recently and I have to tell you it has made a huge difference in my studio in the quality of the air I can actually tell the way the studio smells much better I know it's cleaner and I saw my pulmonologist recently who was over the moon that I'm actually using an air cleaner in my studio because you know it's a thing they're like well you should be using one of these and most people are like yeah 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 I know and I was like um, my helper needs to come back and hold the side <laughs> because if not it, it, it could end up on the ground. We don't want to break the mobile air cleaner, do we now? No. So anyhow, this little unit is really fabulous. It keeps my studio air clean. If you want to know more about it, check it out. Uh, but if I was asking for something big from Santa, this would be it, this right here. So if you don't have an air cleaning system in place yet, check out my review on this. So we're gonna scooch this off to the side and go with something a little smaller because I don't, I don't need that falling and hurting me or hurting someone else, right? So number 11 on my list is something I've been using for a couple years now, 
and so what is the name of the unit? it's envirocleanse mobile air system here you go envi envirocleanse right here envirocleanse mobile air system and i do have a review on it on clayshare com well it's actually on tv clayshare under reviews and it's on my youtube channel which is just my name jessica putnam phillips you can find me on youtube i'm there as well so you can check it out you sent the review to your studio owner good i'm glad you did you know we don't really think about air cleaners so much in the studio but it makes a huge difference it really does and i have noticed it and you know we all want to keep making pottery for a very long long time and if you keep your studio clean and keeping the air clean is just part of that you can do that right all right so let's move on to number 12 number 11 i've got to keep my numbers straight because i'm counting down counting backwards is bad all right so number 11 you guys know these you know i love these these are the marvelous molds knit textures i absolutely adore these these are meant to be used for cake decorating but i am a big fan of saying no way cake decorators don't get all the fun we're going to take them and use them and we're going to make mugs and plates and bowls and pumpkins and all kinds of good things with them so here's an example of a piece made this is the trinity knit texture and again these are made by marvelous molds and you can get them from their website we do have a discount code if you go to clayshare.com and you can click through and save but i will tell you you can sometimes save more money if you go through other websites and purchase them that way so you don't have to use my code and use it and buy it through marvelous molds you, you you save the most money wherever you can that's where you should get it so i have a class on making sweater mugs and i show you how to use these when you get them you will notice there's a little edge you want to go ahead and cut that edge off and you'll end up with something like this so this one's been used you can kind of tell it's been used because uh, it's got clay all over it and this one right here is brand new shiny and bright see it gets it gets a little faded over time but you just got some this week and can't wait to use them you are going to love them they are fabulous i do like them a lot so that is my number 11 on 2019's gift for potters pick yourself up some of these little knit molds so i have the ribbon navel rib and cable knit <laughs> and this trinity knit i also have a i forget what one this is but it's just a straight knit and then i got this little guy this is just a little accent piece this is nice and i also have a button mold from them which is what's on here these little buttons and they're leather buttons it's supposed to look like leather buttons right so you're late because you're prepping the turkey so this is this this is the number 11 counting down from 12 if you're just tuning in number 12 was an enviro cleanse air cleaner which you can check out my review on tv.clayshare.com or on my youtube channel now this list will be posted here under the description for this video so if you're just watching it or it's going to be posted on clayshare so you'll have this description so don't worry about it if you've missed one you'll get it and oh by the way i'll be singing the recap at the end so don't worry you haven't missed anything yet you haven't missed anything yet it's still all coming for you all right and so the 10th thing so the 10th thing on my list is this so this is for all you wheel throwers out there um, this is a studio bat studio this is a studio pro studio bat system there's a lot of studio happening in this description but the studio pro bat system is the replacement for what you might be familiar with was once called the wonder bat so the inserts are interchangeable they will work with the old wonder bat system and the outside holder is interchangeable as well so if you're looking for replacements that go with your wonder bat system you want to get a hold of this right here you can just buy the inserts or you can buy the whole kit or just the outside frame here if you want to and that's studio pro bats and you can buy it directly from them but other places sell them i think a uh, big ceramic store sells them and just check around so you can find them now i use these little guys because they are a six by six they're perfect so i use these when i'm hand building a lot so you will see me in hand building tutorials and classes with a little tiny board 
I already have them for wheel throwing, so why don't I just use them for my um, hand building, right? I do. So it works, it works really well. Vanessa, you did not miss much. We are only third on the list, and we have much more to go, plus there'll be a recap. So Studio Pro bats are a must-have for me. Well, let me just tell you why. When you are throwing a mug, so we'll just go with this one. So say you throw this mug, right, on your wheel, and you wire it off, and you want to lift it up. Well, you can lift your mug up and move it, but usually during the lifting, you're going to you're gonna put some force. You're going to exert some force on that mug, and you might not think you are, but you will. And what will happen is you might get a slight ovaling of your mug or your bowl. And if that happens, you want to switch to using these because you will wire your mug off the wheel, and then you lift the whole thing up like this and set it on your shelf. You don't touch it again. It's easy peasy. You don't have to worry about ovaling your lovely round thrown mug. So that's why I like them because they're great for that. Plus you can throw lots of different smaller shapes and smaller bowls and just pop these little inserts out and pop a new one in. Now I'm gonna tell you my last little tip for these. So always store them with an insert in the outside. Never store them with this not in here because you'll get warping. I promise you, if you leave the insert out, if you leave it open like that, it will warp and it will be difficult to get the insert back in. So always store it with the insert in and you'll be fine. So that's just a little advice. I do hear from people from time to time and they will say, oh, I got one of these and it warped on me. It didn't work. Don't store, don't leave this out. Store it with it in. That's the problem. So if you leave it in, you shouldn't have any problems with warping. So that's that's my last little tip. It's kind of a, a care and use tip, right? So that is our number 10 on our countdown, right? So now we're gonna do number nine. Number nine is pretty easy. Number nine is this fabulous handmade apron from Play in the Mud Designs. I am wearing one of the straight aprons with the split in the middle. And this is great because, yeah, you can hand build in it, but if you're a wheel thrower, having the apron split in the middle, when you're sitting at the pottery wheel, it will cover your legs and it will split so that you don't have all this bunched up apron shoved up against you between you and the wheel. So this right here, um, this right here is my number nine pick is a handmade apron from Play in the Mud Designs, which is available on Clayshare Market. Now, Charlie, who makes these, does them one at a time. Each one is different. Each one is unique. They really are a work of art on their own. And I know she just put a whole bunch of new ones. So she has a bunch of different designs. She even makes them for petite gals. So if you're short like I am, you can get a petite apron. And she has this really cute pinafore style as well. She has the wheel throwing style and she has the hand building style. So you can check them all out and each one is a little different. And I see my mom has tuned in and she wants to know what to get the potter who has everything. <laughs> Are you mean for me, mama, I just need your love. That's all. I don't need any gifts. Just knowing that you love me is enough. That's honestly all I need. That's it. I mean, I am very blessed. I don't really need anything, but thank you. So that right there is my number nine on the list. Um, and I, I have a few of Charlie's aprons. I adore them. They're really well made and you would not regret getting one. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, I know somebody who would like an apron or you're watching this and you're like, I want an apron. I know somebody I need to tell, tell them about the apron. You could even go in and like, you know, screenshot the apron you want, send it to them and be like, hint, hint, get on it right? So that is my number nine on the list. So now for eight, eight is a fun one. Eight is Georgie's Interactive Pigments. So Michelle wants to know where the aprons are. If you go to claysharemarket.com, that's where they are. It's a separate site. It, we do run it. Clayshare runs it, but it's an entirely separate website. So you'll have to start a new account there and everything because it's a separate entity. And Clayshare Market is nothing but a collection of individual artist shops, all hand making products. So we have aprons, we have, we have some other things. I don't wanna jump the gun. I have 
I have other things to talk about on the list that are on Clayshare Market. And um, so if you're looking for something to purchase for Small Business Saturday, check out ClayshareMarket.com. We have handmade pottery, we have jewelry, we have aprons, we have rolling pins. Um, am I leaving anything out? We have a bunch of things, so check that out and you will see. You're making, Lori's making a pottery bucket list. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So the eighth gift is the interactive pigments from Georgie's. And this right here is a little photo of all the different finishes you can get from the Georgie's. And they have this interactive pigment kit and in it you get all eight of their pigments and four of their glazes to try out. And I love it. I've been using these for, I think this is four years I've been using these, but it's been on my, it's been on my list I think every year. I really, really love it. And just to show you an example of a piece, this is with Georgie's interactive pigment on it. So this is their sand and surf. So you can see, and oh wait, if we look at this garlic keeper behind me, this is done with their interactive pigments. This happens to be the autumn foliage. And the glaze on this is eggshell wash. Now this glaze does not come in the kit. You'd have to get it separate, but it's amazing. And this one right here is super clear. So we have eggshell wash and we have super clear. So you can get a, a little switcheroo so everybody can see what's happening. Um, and if you're wondering what's going on, I'm live broadcasting into clayshare.com. It's happening. So if you are here on Facebook and you're like, what's this Clayshare she's talking about? Clayshare is my website. And it's a website where there are a bunch of resources and glaze recipes and live broadcasts that we have as replays. And then my teaching site is tv.clayshare.com. And that's the one you can access to watch over 250 online pottery classes. And you can download it in Google Play, Apple, the App Store, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Just like, and you can, screen, you can screencast it too, which is crazy. So Carolyn says she just started using the interactive pigments and can't wait to see the results. They are wonderful. And if you go online to Georgie's website, you will see that, and it's just georgies.com, G-E-O-R-G-I-E-S.com. And you can look at their interactive pigments and you can see this page right here that I'm showing you. And you can see it um, and you'll be able to get a better view of what you can do with the pigments. But everything you see here, all these colors and finishes, all of this goodness is made with these pigments. So pigments are like a stain. They go under your glaze. So you're staining it. And the pigments are made of oxides and other minerals like you would use in your glazes. And so they're a little different than using an underglaze, but it's the same idea. So really great for staining, although you can use them on top of a glaze, kind of like a maiolica finish. And they show examples of that too. So much going on. I know. Oh my gosh, it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. So that is my eighth day is the Georgie's Interactive Pigments. So now my seventh countdown number would be rolling pins. You knew they were going to be on there, right? You knew there was going to rolling pins. So, and not just any rolling pins, but rolling pins from the texture shop, which features my designs and also original designs by Sharon Hoppy who runs the texture shop and she is the fabulous woman out there that takes my designs and hand cut well the machine cuts it but it's done one at a time made right in texas in the u.s of a so our wood is sourced here in the usa uh if they're made in the usa they are a nice 10 inch long roller so you get a lot of pattern a lot of bang for your buck with these and they are high high quality um I will say my snowflake rolling pin has 48 hand drawn snowflakes that I drew. The snowflake pin is, is so good. I, I just love it to pieces. And if you're looking for a holiday pin, I do have a holiday one with little, let me turn it upside right, little kissing deer and doves and snowflakes and Christmas trees. You know, we have to have that too. But I also have quite a few other designs. I have the Moroccan tile. Please excuse the clay in them because they get used. And if you're gonna get rolling pins, this isn't on my list, but if you're gonna get rolling pins, 
Why not pick up a rack from Rich McNatt? So Woodworks by Rich, he is on the Clayshare Market. So again, clayshare-market.com. you can get these. And you can get a rolling pin rack to store your rolling pins. And here's the thing, if you only have a couple rolling pins, I suggest you still get a rolling pin rack that will hold 10 because you know you're gonna add to your collection. So you go ahead and you get your rack and you get it for 10 pins and maybe you only have three in now, but it gives you goals. So you can have rolling pin goals to get there, right? I have to tell you these, if I didn't make these, I would be jonesing for these. I love these, these are fabulous. And the rack, yeah, and Rich's racks are great. And it's a great place to store. Look, I work right here. I have my rack right here. I need a design. I just grab it down and use it. When I'm done, put it back up. And I have seen some gorgeous things you all are doing with the Southwest design. I am loving seeing that. And all of my designs are hand-drawn originals. So just in case you're wondering, you're not going to get the same old designs you see everywhere else. No. So the rolling pins are number seven on the list as we count down. And the snowflake pin is not just for Christmas. No, no, no. It's for any time of the year and winter in Vermont lasts till April. So I will be using this snowflake pin for a very, very long time. You will see it on pots for months to come, years to come actually. Okay, so that's my number seven. Moving on to number six. Number six, I got them over here in the brushable, but it's our monthly giveaway is also my number six on the list is Clayscapes Pottery Glazes. And I just love the folks at Clayscapes. They really are a part of our Clayshare family. And I have a couple examples right here. Now, I showed how to glaze with Clayscapes Glazes on last week's live broadcast. If you wanna see that, you can go ahead and check that out. I've got some good examples. I have a bunch more examples that I showed in that broadcast so you can see them all. They make glazes that you dip and pour, but they have a new line of brushable glazes coming out. So Clayscapes is sponsoring the Clay Share November giveaway, which is a six pack of their brushable glazes, which come in these containers right here, big giant containers of glaze. And there'll be four winners and that will be announced next week. So next Wednesday, we will find out who won the fabulous glaze giveaway to enter. If you're a premium member, you're already entered. Don't have to do anything. If you're not on my email list, go to clayshare.com. Get on the email list, you're entered. That's it, super easy. And you can get these fabulous glazes. They are cone five, cone six glazes. So just, just so that you know, if you do low firing, these really aren't for that. If you do cone nine, 10 reduction firing, again, these are not really for that. These are for cone five, cone six. And right here I have Starry Night, Nebula, and My Chun, which I, I'm a little partial to. That's the glaze that's inside this mug and on the handle. So I don't know if that's picking it up very well, but that's, that's what glazes on that. I know it's a great giveaway. We are excited to have Clayscapes on board for this. And you know, we got lots of good stuff coming with them down the line, but I'll save that for another, I'll save that for another time because we got more on the list to get to and it's a big list. Okay, so that's number six is the Clayscapes Pottery Glazes. Right here is an example of Clayscapes Pottery Glazes. Now number five, wait till I sing this. It's gonna be so fun. Number five, GR Pottery Forms. Not just any GR Pottery Forms. This came out this fall. This is their plaque pack, these plaque forms. I have fallen in love with the plaque forms. Here is a finished piece made with the plaque forms. And you were mentioning my Moroccan tile pin. This right here has that design on it so you can see. So these, Denise, are brushable. Yes, these are the brushable and that's what we're giving away is a six pack of brushable glazes. So you'll get six brushable glazes from Clayscapes. So that's the prize. So this, what I have right now is the five of the plaque forms. We gave these away last month. Was this last month's giveaway? I think it was. Yes, we gave away a five, five packs. And they are fabulous if you don't know how to use them. I have a ton of videos showing how to use them. I've done live broadcasts showing how to use them. So you can 
always reference those there. And you can see this shape here was this. Before, after, before, after. <clears throat> My voice is getting a little hoarse, and I still have to sing. Hopefully we'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, so that's my number five is the GR Pottery forms, which the plaque forms. All the forms are great. I'm just highlighting the plaque forms because that's their new ones. And so you've been watching on Clayshare.com, but you have it in full screen. You can't see any comments. Okay, so um, Christine, uh, then you have to do the, the small screen. Right. Oh, I'm not supposed to show this yet. Wait, I can't take a drink of my tea. I gotta wait. Can't get there yet. All right, so number four on the list. You knew these were going to be on there too, didn't you? Sandbow. So Sandbow Studios and I partnered together. I designed four underglaze transfer designs for them. Limited edition. They came out. Most of them have sold out. My Scandi Birds is completely sold out, but he has sent them in for reprinting. We are going to have a bunch more, and there'll be a snowflake design. And right now, I don't know what's in stock. You go to chinaclayart.com for their website, and I will show this to you. Chinaclayart.com, chinaclayart.com. So you go there, and you can find out what they have left. It'll say clay share designs, so that's what you want. And the designs are Scandi Birds which I know are gone, I'm sorry. My jungle leaves, which may or may not be available still. My retro floral, which has been hugely popular. So there's a couple different colors. You might notice they come in, they come in colors. And then cute little mushrooms. And the mushrooms are the ones that I used in my class on using the underglaze transfers on a throne form, right there. So. I'm, I'm all out of the black mushrooms because I use them all on this form. They're all gone. So there'll be no more pieces in my studio until I can order more myself. But this is on my list. The number four are these underglaze transfers. Now, this piece you see here is a finished fired piece with the underglaze transfers. And this was put on the mug after the mug was bisqued. So the mug was already bisque fired and I applied it then. You can apply it when it is wet, leather hard, green wear, bisque wear. Any stage of dryness, you can apply these underglaze transfers. And they're also called underglaze decals, and they're exactly what you think they are, under the glaze. So as long as they go under the glaze, you are good. That's it. Just put them under your glaze, right? You got your retro florals. I did, so the retro floral is what I did the mug in. And um, that's coming. I have them throwing a mug on the wheel using underglaze transfers on the mug and also on the handle. So that class will be out Monday because it's the holiday weekend. I'm not, I'm not putting the class up till Monday. I'm giving you guys the weekend to just chill and not worry about having to make any pottery. So if I put the class up, you're gonna try to make pots. I want you to enjoy time with your family. So I'm not putting the class up till Monday. <laughs> oh, I know the mushroom, so nice. So cute. And I've seen everybody using the mushrooms and this and the scandy birds by cutting them because look at this. The mushrooms, you totally can cut out the mushrooms and just put a few on. And I've seen people doing that with the scandy birds where they're cutting them out and just using parts of it here and there. And that's why the transfers can go much further. So do the transfers come out the same color no matter if they're applied to bisque or leather hard? Yes. Doesn't matter when you apply them to the piece, the color will be the same. It doesn't affect it. No. The color does not change whether you apply it to leather hard or whether you apply it to bisque wear. Green wear or bisque wear. Doesn't matter. No. Not at all. The, the only thing I will say that could potentially happen is clay shrinks. So if you put it on leather hard wet clay, before the clay has started to shrink, it they might shrink a little. That will be just part of the process. If you put it on bisque wear, they won't shrink as much. It's fractional though. I don't think it's a big deal. Are they different from fired on images? Yes, because these are not decals that go over your clays. These are under clays. You put them on first, then you have to glaze on top. So this goes on raw clay or 
you could apply under glaze and then apply these. So this goes on naked clay, fired on images, their decals have to go on glazed pots to work. So it's, it's a different process. It's still a transfer. They're all transfers, if you think about it, because you're transferring an image from some type of medium, whether it's a tissue or a plastic sheet, onto a piece of pottery. So they're all transfers. It's like printing on clay, right? It's just when do you put it on? So it's all about, um, it's all about the process. And what temperature can they fire to? That's really decided by your clay and your glaze. These are just made with underglazes. So they can low fire, they can go to cone 5, 6, and they can go to 10. I will caution you at cone 10 though, you might get some fluxing, which is melting, and so some of the designs might run a bit. And I also will let you know that you want to use a zinc-free glaze because zinc tends to eat away under glazes. It also can cause them to melt more. So you want a zinc-free clear, which is what this is. So someone just asked me, is this, is, is this is clear on top? It is a clear, and it's a zinc-free clear. And that will work right here. So underglaze doesn't have flux, exactly. So the underglaze itself won't melt unless you put a glaze on top. The glaze will cause it to melt. So the issue is, at cone 10, you might have a glaze that fluxes more or melts more. So you might get more melting. It's not the underglaze transfers that will be the thing you have to worry about. It'll be whether your glaze is compatible. So you need to do tests. Also, if your glaze has zinc in it, that can be an issue. And some of the colors can tend to burn out. I believe the red might get um, change color at 10, but not at cone 5 and 6. So really if you use underglaze at all on your pottery think of these as the underglazes just just that you printed them out onto a sheet and you're going to use them that way because that's really what they are it's a screen print of underglazes they call them underglaze transfers they call them underglaze decals but that's exactly what it is and you can transfer it with just water or just a rib and i have classes on both ways. I've done a ton of tutorials on both on ClayShare and on YouTube, so you, you can find this. So anyhow, this is my number three pick. Eva's going to send my list to Santa. I think you should, and that is why I'm doing it early. Usually I do this a uh, little later, but I want you all to have time to get things if you want to, or if you need ideas, or you, you know somebody who's a potter that might need something, and this might little spark a little interest, right, for them. So do I always use clear over the decal? Uh, I don't always. You can use celadons, but I like the clear. Um, I will say, though, if you want to do something really fun, apply under glaze first in a nice bright color, like a yellow or a turquoise or a peach, and then put a black decal on top, and it will really pop. So that's a fun way to add a layer of color under your decal. So you could do that and then clear glaze on top, but you don't have to, you don't have to use clear. You could put a color on, just be mindful. The color could tend to hide some of the decal. It'll subdue it. So just keep that in mind when you're working with it. Okay. So number three, number three is clay share merchandise. So what are we talking about? We're talking about, uh, my shirt, clay share shirt. So this red buffalo plaid shirt is available on Clayshare Market, um, Clayshare hat, we have Clayshare hoodies. And why do you want a Clayshare hat hoodie or shirt? Well, that way when you're out at a clay event, that way when you're out at um, the community studio, people will know you're part of the Clayshare family, part of the Clayshare community. This past weekend, I went to Clayscapes Pottery. They were having their Raku Day, and Jen Candrus, who's watching right now, was there. And do you know how I knew she was, Jen? I knew she was going to be there, but I knew she was a member of Clayshare because she was wearing the exact same shirt I'm wearing, except in the blue and black plaid, because it comes in multiple colors. And this is our logo shirt, so you'll see it says it has the little pot on it with clay share learn make share under it so you can see that on there now we have the hats in both the logo and also the vintage clay share which i love the vintage but i like the logo too and we have hoodies and all kinds of goodies but if you're going to be going out doing a meetup with your other friends that are you know members of clay share 
wear your ClayShare merchandise. Be proud of being part of the ClayShare community. Wear your ClayShare gear. That's what I, that's what I have to say. <laughs> so, and then number number two, number two, which I think I always have this somewhere on the list, is a handmade mug or piece of pottery by a potter you admire. So this is one I just picked up this last weekend again at the Clayscapes Pottery Raku Day. And this artist is Courtney Eppel, E-P-P-E-L, Courtney Eppel. That's hers, her card. And she does a lot of wood-fired porcelain, and that's what I have here with this beautiful carving. And there is there is green tea inside, so I, I, I could show you the inside. You can kind of see the glaze. Um, so not sure what glaze she used on it. It kind of looks like my chun a bit on the outside, but again, this is wood fired. So traditionally wood fire kilns go to cone nine or 10. So I would probably say it's not my chun, although the chun, original chun could go to cone 10, my original chun. <laughs> hmm. So this is one for my mug collection. And I love this piece. It's really beautiful. I have quite a collection of mugs. And this is one that spoke to me. I really love carving. I love illustration and I like color. So for me, this was like ding, 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 checking all the boxes of pottery that I like. So that's why I got it. Now, there's probably a potter out there that you really admire and you want to collect their work. So check it out and get it. Don't, life's too short not to get pottery you love, right? So again, this is Courtney Eppel. Now we have a bunch of pottery on Clayshare Market. I will be having a holiday sale in a couple weeks. Um, not, not the, not this coming Friday, two, fr two weeks from Friday. I'll be having a couple mugs. A couple mugs will be in the sale if it, if it's, if it doesn't sell out before. Hint, hint, hint. And then um, one of our Clayshare instructors, Kevin Kowalski, you might know him and follow him. He's wonderful. He teaches a lot of wheel throwing classes on Clayshare, and he is having a small business Saturday sale. So check out his work if you want to get any of his pieces. He has this new beach series that is really beautiful, and I think Jennifer Alara got one already. Um, so you should check him out too if you want to, you know, get a get one of your teacher's pottery, right? Why not? All right. So that is my number two, and then the number one on the list. What do you think number one is? I, I could let you guess, but uh, I won't hold you in suspense. Number one is a Clay Share Premium Membership. Now, most of you on here are probably already premium members, but maybe you aren't and you want to check it out. Well, we have a free trial. You can go ahead and try it for seven days for free, but it's $99 a year to sign up for a year. That gives you unlimited access to over 250 classes, thousands of videos. Oh my goodness, you're part of our community. You get to be in the private ClayShare Prime group. You get access to, I think, the best, most supportive, wonderful Clay family out there when you join. I mean, you can still be a part of that, but you know, it's it's different when you're a premium member. We It, it, it is. Of course, we welcome everybody into our public group as well, but in there I teach how to make pottery, hand building and wheel throwing. We do a lot of surface carving. If you want to do graffito, you want to do Mishima, you want to know about glazing, you want to know about firing, you want to know about replacing the elements in your kiln. You have a scut kiln, I'll teach you how to do it in a scut. You want to have an L&L, I'll teach you how to do it in an L&L. &L. How to replace a thermocouple. We have a cool section where there's a lot of surface like, like bubble glazing and marble glazing and all kinds of stuff. Um, so that was your gift last year, Judy, right? And it's the, and De Debbie says it's the best thing she's done with pottery. You know, it is crazy how affordable it is. I, I like shop sometimes and it's my own website. So it's my site. I run it. My husband is my IT guy. He's my partner in it. So um, he's sitting over there being a good boy, running the IT stuff and <laughs> and smiling at me. <laughs> we also have a few instructors. We have Kevin Kowalski on there and we have Drew Seymour who does a lot of glazing and kiln stuff. There's so much on there. You should check it out. And I don't know if I should say anything about Friday. 
We may have a special happening on Friday if you want to try it out. Just saying, there might be a Black Friday something happening for premium membership on ClayShare.com. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Uh -huh. Nothing else. I'm just going to drink my tea for a second and let you think about that. <laughs> exactly, Jen. Teamwork makes the dream work. And you are all part of my team. You really are. So that's my list. Are we ready? I wish I had music, but here's the thing. If I had music playing, I would have copyright issues. So unless I actually had somebody playing music for me here in the studio, um, I wouldn't be able to do this next part. So you get it a cappella, which is just me singing all alone. That's it. So if you want to sing along, you will notice that on the ClayShare website, there is the whole list, the 12 gifts for potters, 2019. So you can sing along. If you don't want to hear it, you can leave or put earplugs in. Either way, you, you might need an adult beverage to get through this. And here we go. So are you all ready? Because Richard says, go take care of your family. Stop wasting your time. Oh my gosh, that's like the first mean trolley person, Richard. That is a terrible thing. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. <laughs> All right, we're going to start. Are you all ready? So here we go. And I'm going to try to do the things as we go. So on the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me an EnviroCleanse Mobile Air Cleaner. On the 11th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me some knit textures from Marvelous Molds. On the 10th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a Studio Pro Bat System. <laughs> On the 9th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a Play in the Mud Designs apron. On the 8th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Georgie's Interactive Pigments. On the 7th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Rolling Pins from the Texture Shop. <laughs> on the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a whole bunch of Clayscapes glazes. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five GR pottery forms. And you can get more than five if you really love them, but we're going with five for the song. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Sandbow underglaze transfers designed by me. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a clay share shirt, hat, or hoodie. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a handmade mug or pottery. And on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a clay share premium membership. Woo! All right, that's it. Third annual gift list for potters. 2019, whew, it's done. There you have it. Not the best singer, but I definitely will sing loud and with enthusiasm because I love to sing. And you know, why not sing loud and proud? All right, so there we have it. The replay will be up here on the Clay Share Facebook page. It'll also be on ClayShare.com, so you can check it out there. Next week, I'll be back for another live broadcast, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. We will be doing the drawing for the giveaway on the Clayscapes Pottery Glazes. So you might win. So maybe you don't buy these yet. Maybe you wait till next Wednesday and see if you won. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving. Enjoy the time with your family. You know, maybe step out of the studio for a bit and, you know, just slow down and enjoy these moments while we have them with each other. And I will catch you all next week. Thank you so much for joining me here. Bye, everyone. Bye.